Hey everybody, it's Dr. Lori and I'm extremely happy to be here with you today because I have information that you might be able to use in your life. Most people are not doing enough of this and that is drinking water. That's right. We need water in our bodies because our bodies are mostly water, right? 78% of our body is water. Our brain is 80% water. And unfortunately, most people are not utilizing this important tool, easy tool as well, and they're suffering needlessly. Most people are mildly dehydrated and they have no idea what's going on. So they're suffering. They have symptoms of joint pain, they're gaining weight, they have back aches or they get headaches a lot, they can't think clearly, they um, are tired all the time so they reach for sugar or a caffeine fix during the day, much more. So if you have any sugar cravings, for example, drinking water helps stop sugar cravings. What I'd like you to do is think of water mostly as a supplement because a lot of times people feel like they have to take the water or they have to do this or that with water when if you look at it as part of your daily diet as a supplemental part then it really makes a big difference now a lot of people don't realize that when it comes to weight loss water is a crucial factor and that's very important because we want to lose weight and we want to lose weight healthfully and we want to lose weight efficiently, right? So in order to do that, you want to drink water. Research shows that just drinking one glass of water is going to bump up your metabolism by 30% for hours later. And research also shows that those who lose 50 pounds or more and keep it off are those that drink water every day consistently throughout the day. And the other thing, our liver. When we're not drinking enough water, which is most people, then our liver has to do double duty. It has to take over in a form of fashion from the kidneys because the kidneys aren't getting enough water. So your liver is your number one fat burning organ. And when it can't do its job of burning fat for you, it's not functioning optimally in that sense. So you want to drink enough water. It's very subtle, the signs of mild dehydration. Have you ever gone to the refrigerator and you've opened up the refrigerator door? I know I've done this. You just stand there and look and you think, you know, I'm hungry for something. I just don't know what it is. And so you stand there a little bit longer and then you close that door and then you go to the cupboard and you look to see what's in there. And that right there is a sign you may be mildly dehydrated. Stop what you're doing, drink a glass of water, and you will be amazed within minutes how quickly that desire for food or that craving goes away. And the reason this happens is because the hunger and our thirst detector are located in the same area of the brain. So try that, it's a great tip. It works so well, you won't believe it. So I know there are people out there that are struggling with trying to drink water. You're either too busy, you just don't remember to drink water, or you simply, you don't like it. You know, it's boring. So what you want to do is make sure that you set yourself up for success. And that's what I always believe and want for people that I'm interacting with, that my clients and people who read my books and you, uh, I want you to set yourself up for success because we're a product of our environment. If we don't take care of our health, who's going to do it, right? So it's up to us. So what I'd like you to do is make sure that you remind yourself. So what I do is I use my water bottle is my visual cue to drink water. And get a water bottle that has that's measured. So mine's 22 ounces. Uh, you can get 32 ounces. Just know that depending on your weight, and I'll get to that in a minute, how much water you need to drink a day, that you keep your eye on that. And so I always recommend that you record your water intake in the beginning because this means that you know how much you're ingesting, right? We uh, humans research shows always overestimate all the good stuff that we should be doing. So we 
we say we're eating less food and we say we're drinking more water than we really are. So when you write it down, you know it's right there, right? It's in black and white. Make sure you do that. And then if you don't like the taste of water, you want to make sure that you have uh, one of those little infusion water bottles. They have a tall, narrow basket that hangs in the middle of the bottle, and you could put anything you want in there. You can put crushed mint or spearmint. You can put pineapple, watermelon, sliced strawberries, blueberries, raspberries. The list goes on, even cucumbers, which makes it more of a, like a spa drink. And it's really a great way to motivate you to drink more water. Yes, we all know and have heard that lemon works, and it does, it's very refreshing, but there are other creative ways you can create better drinking water. Now, make sure that you have visual cues, as I mentioned, and one of those is sticky notes, simple sticky notes that will remind you to drink water. I did that in the beginning myself and it works really well. There are free water apps for you that are really effective. You can use your iPhone or your smartphone timer alarm and just anything that's going to remind you. But remember, it's about you taking responsibility and setting yourself up for success. So don't wait until you're thirsty to drink water because you're already at that point one to two percent dehydrated. So we want to stay ahead of the curve. So remember, those who have lost weight, 50 pounds or more, and keep it off, are those that stay ahead of the curve in terms of mild dehydration. I really want you to add water to your diet and take any bit of information from this that you feel is going to help, help you create a better quality of life in terms of your health and your weight and apply it. Because as I always say, if we don't apply the information that we hear or read, then it's simply just that. It's just information. And I want you to be the exception. Have a wonderful week ahead, and if you have any questions, just message me, and I promise you I will answer them and get to you as soon as I can. Have a wonderful day, and let's make it a great one. Talk to you later.